Live from San Francisco, it's The Q. Covering Informatica World 2017. Brought to you by Informatica. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're live in San Francisco. This is theCUBE's exclusive coverage of Informatica World 2017. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE and theCUBE. My co-host Peter Burris, head of research for SiliconANGLE Media, as well as general manager of wikibon.com research. Uh, our next guest is Sally Jenkins, who's the executive vice president, chief marketing officer, new to Informatica, not new to the industry, but certainly put her mark on the show with the new branding. Sally, welcome to theCUBE, great to have you. Thank Spend you. The time. I know you must be exhausted, all the work you've done. Thank you, welcome. We're, we're running on adrenaline, I can <laughs> tell you that, but it's all good, we feel really good about it. So this is our third year following Informatica. We know a lot of the folks from other companies, see some semantic product guys now running the show at Informatica, always had great product chops. Um, but the, with this industry transformation with cloud, just in the past three, four years, there's been a massive shift and wave, and the pecking order of, of winners is changing pretty quickly. Informatica mm -hmm. went private, kind of like what Dell did, Dell Computer, now Dell Technologies, mm -hmm. and retooled. Now you're going to be doing the brand reboot, mm -hmm. which we can see behind us. Right. You've done that in three months. Take us through that, because this is an interesting story. You're now going to bring the brand perspective to Informatica. How, what's the strategy, what's your plan, and <laughs> how did you get all this done in three months? Yes, no, it's been an incredible journey, but you know, I was, I was just made this uh, an enormous offer as a marketer. You couldn't dream for a better challenge than what we had at Informatica. So when I came in, what I recognized is looking all around and trying to understand our strengths and our weaknesses and what were the opportunities, well, we have everything in place. So as I mentioned in my keynote yesterday, our brand is having to catch up with the business. So the business is there, we've got great products, the leadership that we hold with all of um, the Gartner Magic Quadrants, you know, leadership in the six categories that we say that matter. We have a tremendous backing to come out with our new story, and that's exactly what we needed to do. It wasn't just about the logo, in fact, the logo was the last thing that we looked at. It was about what's our strategy, what's our, what's our vision, our mission, what's the story we want to tell with our customers, and we were hearing from our customers as well that they wanted us to change because they're going through transformation. So that was kind of the backdrop for how we got started on this. And so we went right off the bat trying to nail down our messaging and reviewing that with customers and partners. I mean, our new yeah. car partner community is a big part of this. So we did our due diligence that led up to this unveiling. So I got to talk, we were kind of, we we're always kind of complimentary of, of you guys. Some critical, we had some critical analysis yesterday in the wrap up session. Mine are relative to the big bets. These guys have product shops. They always have had good product shops. And with the private, going private, they've done a lot of retooling, a lot of change in the past year, and they talk about that. I'm going to see, uh, we had a mid-on, we're going to have uh, Anil on earlier, but I got to ask you the question as the new, the new exec. What does the brand stand for? Because the products changed, the customers, they have some legacy customers that are growing with them and transforming. What does the brand stand for from your perspective, and what is that story? Well, the brand stands for unleashing the power of data, and I think, as you, as you have probably heard throughout this conference, that our whole stance on this is understanding what what the, the disruptive power of data holds for you as a customer, because as our customers are transforming, we are also recognizing that we have to transform too, and our customers are moving from on-prem to cloud, they want to use our products on subscription versus perpetual license, so we're going through this massive change right alongside our customers, and so our brand had to support that, and our brand was, quite frankly, left behind. And so that was the opportunity for us to think differently about what is that story that's in support of what our customers want. That promise that you want to make to yes, customers. Yes, that's right. So next for you, you're going to take a vacation. <laughs> I get Friday off. And then, yeah, and <laughs> then from you're, home, yeah. and then, basically. And then, yeah. and then you're going to start applying yourself to the challenges of using data within marketing that's to improve right. Informatica's performance to customers. Absolutely. Talk about the transformation that you think you're Yes. is going to go through as you use Informatica to be a better Informatica? Yeah, that's a great question. In fact, I talked about this also in our keynote yesterday because I was talking about a little bit outside in and then I flipped it and said, let's talk inside out. And I was explaining how 
my job is to deliver the best customer experience to our customers and our partners. And in order to do that, I need to have those unique insights that I gather from all the data that I'm collecting on our customers and our partners to make sure that they're getting the right information at the right time to make those right decisions. And so I'm using our own internal intelligent data lake to create what we call our marketing data lake. And that gives me, first of all, it gives me the whole perspective of the customer and what they're doing and where they're coming from so that then I can turn that around and make that a unique experience for our customers. And so I shared that because I wanted our customers to understand that I'm going through the same thing that they're going through. In fact, if you've seen some of the quotes that are hanging around here um, in Informatica world, Jewelry TV, AWS, they're all talking about de delivering the best customer experience for their customers. So I feel like I'm, I'm going through this uh, just as, as well as our customers are. So what's the marketing perspective? Because now you have to tell the customers you're listening. So digital is going to be a big part. We're mm -hmm. in a digital transformation. So mm -hmm. we're here at a physical event. We're broadcasting mm -hmm. digitally live and mm -hmm. all these assets are flying around. There's a lot of data out there. That's right. How are you harnessing that data? What's your vision on how you're going to bring Informatica into that digital role for listening to the customers, engaging with them. That's right, that's right. And, and creating a touch point that's digitally. Right. Well, and that's, I mean, so digital is a big part of my, um, what I'm responsible for, and we oftentimes talk about what's the digital journey our customers go on, and that gets back to, I'm needing to understand where they're coming from, what device are they coming to me from, what kind of information do they want back from me to help them make the right decisions for their company, and quite frankly, bring ideas back to their C-suite. So that's all right in my wheelhouse, and that's, that's actually what I'll be turning my attention to post-Informatica world yeah. is really getting deep under and, and having a better understanding as to what that buyer's journey looks like, and it's all digital. Yeah. I mean, these days, yeah. everything we do in marketing starts with digital. Yeah, in some cases, the moment of truth to the beginning of a journey is all digital. Yeah, that's Analog right. is kind of you know, yeah. self-service, if you will. Well, except, I mean, for those I mean, customers, except for those customers that you currently have who you're trying to expand and, course, and develop right. yeah. and, and help them as well, obviously. But, but this is, one of, the, one of the things that I find especially interesting about marketing, I want to test you on this, is that in many respects, marketing has been underappreciated mm -hmm. because the output of marketing has been very information oriented mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the value of the information that marketing has generated, while we're now starting to recognize how unbelievably valuable it is, historically it's been underappreciated. That's right, that's right. So how are you bringing the mm -hmm. story, marrying the, the ability to to tool things, but also to better define. So, you know, people, are, what's the value of a brand? That's right. We have no idea. It's goodwill well, on a yeah, balance sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, that's, a, that's a great question. This is a testament to the belief that our board and our executive team has around the power of a brand. This is why they're investing. They yeah. realize that they've invested and done and delivered on every, in every facet across Informatica in the last place that they needed to invest in is in marketing. Because yeah. they realize the power of the brand and that story. And look, everybody's talking yeah. about us. I mean, yeah. if you've talked to any of our customers here at Informatica World, they're like, this is unexpected. We haven't seen this from yeah. Informatica. They've been hungry for this from Informatica. And so we're really putting our, our, our money where our mouth is on the brand this year. So you'll see it all come together. And I have to say, as a marketer, I mean, there's nothing more special than yeah. the company realizing that they need to get yeah. behind the brand. You got a great mandate, I mean, and you got a good product behind you. I think that's going to be impressive. The question I want to ask you is twofold. One is, with the rebranding experience, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, you went through a digital transformation. A lot of your customers are going through the same thing. Um, what experiences did you learn from that? And if you can share some insight, whether it's personal or business, anecdotally or specifically, quantitatively, uh, what you learned from the rebranding experience. And then, the second part of the question is, the brand building process, how do you envision mm -hmm. that roadmap? Well, so it's interesting. So I actually brought a best practice in order, to, in order to get this done in three months. Honestly, this is normally like a nine month process. Um, I use this rubric where we start with understanding what's our overall vision and mission and what's the market opportunity. So enterprise cloud data management, we're the leaders in that. We've never, t we've never said that. And so understanding each of the bits and pieces that make up the entire story before you get to the brand identity, that's actually a best practice that we've employed now here at Informatica. And that was something that was foreign just because they hadn't taken the time to, to focus on that. So that was not, not necessarily learning a best practice, but, but deploying a best practice here at Informatica. And now we need to 
um, turn back inside and, and, and change the culture. So we just rolled this out with the in Informatica employee base last week, and they're all excited. And I said, okay, we'll, we'll tune in once we get past Informatica world. Yeah. So now the employees are excited to understand how can they help yeah. tell the message, get the story out there, how can we change the culture so they understand who we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we've had many messages in the marketplace, so there's a little bit of confusion, and now we have one story. And now we need to have, our employees are our best salespeople, so we need to engage them and yeah. arm them with the story. I can just see people watching this video. Give me the rubric. What's the, where do I find that rubric? Oh, it's posted. It's, it's, it's on our intranet, absolutely. Inter so it's on the, a public blog? It's on our, our intranet inside. Oh, yeah. intranet, yeah. okay, so yeah. it's not for the yes. general public. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure they're dying but to find a, out the secret But it's a guide rubric. to help them, because everyone says, oh, what's your new logo? And I'm like, we have a lot to do before we talk about colors and yeah. all of that. And yeah. so yeah. we wanted to make sure our employees understand, understood the messaging and what was behind that so that when we got to the logo, they could understand how everything was unfolding. So what's going to iterate? So you know, we see this on digital transformation, whether it's deploying cloud, you get some structure, a rubric, like you mm -hmm. as a guidepost to kind of mm -hmm. get the hard work done mm -hmm. foundationally, but then iterating and being agile with the brand. Do you have a, a philosophy on, on what points of the brand you're going to be iterating on and what are the key areas that you see some evolution on the brand side. Yeah, well it's definitely that reiteration of our leadership stance that we have in the marketplace. You know, we've been humble and there's there's nothing wrong with humble, but we also can be proud and we can be proud to be proud. Yeah. So you'll be seeing a lot more from us around our leadership that we have in the marketplace and we're going to be taking that on the road. So what you see here this week at Informatica World, then we roll them out all around the rest of the world through our Informatica World tours. So we'll package up the story, we'll package up the look yeah. and feel, and we'll take that out so that our customers around the world can experience what we're experiencing. All right, take this us week. through. Um, I always love to ask this question for new folks, and, and I did this with Jeremy Burton when he joined EMC. Now he's the CMO of the Dell Technologies. Because mm -hmm. you're new, you see everything fresh with the fresh mm -hmm. eyes, and of course, you got to come in a little skeptical. Wait a minute, is this going to be a good opportunity? So when you were uh, assessing the the jewels, if you will, inside mm -hmm. Informatica. What are some of the things that jumped out at you that you could share? I mean, what's the coolest thing you saw? What motivated you? What was the tipping point? Was there a moment where you go, okay, go to the next level? Yeah. Or was it just a sustain, hmm, or was there one? No, there it? were a couple of things. I mean, first and foremost, our leadership, I mean, you guys, there's no other company, I'm sure that you can validate this, there's no other company who has leadership in six, not just in leader quadrant, but the leader in the leadership quadrant in six categories. That's unheard of. And it's something that we need to be proud of. We don't ever talk about that. So that was the first thing. I thought, okay, we'll check that box. That's really good. Second thing is this interest in investment in the brand. And I thought, okay, I've heard that before, yeah. but let's see if we're serious test about that. it. Test that, you had to yeah, test that. Yeah, and I've tested it, I've proven it, we've delivered it, and everybody's proud. And yeah. so I think those two things combined, our leadership yeah. and the fact that we actually can get behind the story, and we have one story, that's the momentum we've needed. Yeah. So that's just validation. Well, Jerry so. Hell, who's a board member, was on yesterday, he was very proud of the work you've done and uh, he's excited, so he's pumped up. You got one board Great, me yeah. member on your side. Yeah, good, We'll good. get to see what Bruce thinks this we've afternoon. We've got board members, we've got our channel partners. Yeah. I mean, the channel, look, our cha channel for us is our mouthpiece. Yeah. And we needed to provide them the story too. So the channel's engaged and more excited than ever. Our sales teams are engaged. I mean, they've needed the story. Yeah. So, you know, it was just guide rails that we needed to bring to the company, and I think this just solidifies that. Yeah, the wind at your back, certainly we heard from the channel, sales are up, certainly the product's doing good, looking over a billion dollars in revenue. Mm -hmm. Great pre-IPO, I mean, it's pretty hottest obvious. Hottest pre-IPO out there. Admit said, uh, it's not okay. <laughs> We're going to evaluate that, but we think it's pretty hot right now. Yeah. Is it the hottest? Mm, I think so. Um, but what are you worried about? Because with all that pressure, um, you being aggressive on the yeah. marketing side, you got to be, you got the wind at your back. What are you worried about, if anything? Do you it all comes down to execution, yeah. right? So we've done the heavy lifting to get us yeah. here, but as I've said to executive staff and the board, this is our starting line. Yeah. It's not our finish line. Yeah. And so the rest of this year, and of course going into 2018, it's all about execution. Yeah. So, and I feel, I feel really good about that, because you can't execute without a great strategy, and we have a great strategy, and we have a great story to tell. And a great management team. Uh, I mentioned it earlier, and John and I talked about it last night in the wrap up. Uh, Informatica has a track record of making promises, mm -hmm. big promises, mm -hmm. and at least recently, keeping them. That's right. So you are, you have a track record of executing, customers are able to bank in you. So going back to the kind of why this might be a great opportunity is, from our perspective, you got good products, you got good management, mm -hmm. you got a good customer base, mm -hmm. you got a good financial position, yeah. 
marketing can make a big difference. That's right. Now yeah. we have a good story, yeah. and we have a great brand, and we've got investment. So we'll be out there. I mean, this yeah. is this is our year. I hope you all see this We're is gonna, our we, year. We'll be watching. You got a lot of air cover coming in for the for the folks to drive more business and customer satisfaction. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what are we going to be talking about next year? <laughs> uh, wait and see. Wait and see. There's more in store. Tell us about your first hundred days. What's your whole no? We rebranded the company. I <laughs> <laughs> won't we'll leave it at that. Sally Jenkins, Executive Vice President, Chief Marketing Officer, changing the brand, building the brand for Informatica. Wind at her back. Congratulations. Great to have you, you on the you. Cube. Thanks for supporting the Cube. Thank and you. Bringing the Cube exclusive coverage here from Informatica World. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris. Stay with us more after this short break. <laughs>